We had some ground to make up, that's for sure, and the Porsche had a bit of an advantage when it came to speed. Nought to 60 in six seconds, and the Maserati took a slower nine seconds. But both cars had about the same top speed of around 150 miles an hour. The difference, of course, was in the drivers. As far as we knew, the Miradors had never invented cars. On the other hand, I'd been driving since my teens, and I'd always wanted to try my hand in something faster and sportier than the Mini. I shifted once more into top gear. The ride was exhilarating, an absolute joy. I was already topping 80, weaving in and out of the terrified local traffic, most of which had already been forced to dodge the fleeing Porsche. Many of the poor drivers were hitting their horns as well as their brakes. I decided not to check my rear-view mirror. I didn't really want to witness whatever mess we were leaving behind us. The brig actually looked pale. He was clearly having to force himself not to offer advice to me. Do we really need to go this fast, Benton, he asked. We'll catch him, I promise. If we survive, the brig muttered. 